To begin the interlocking weaving method, you are going to just start weaving, except you don't weave all the way across. You can choose which warp threads you want to skip. Then weave on back to the same direction you came from. And remember, don't pull too tight, squish it down. Then zip your needle across again. You can go to the same spot if you want to make like a rectangle or a square shape, or you can choose to go a little farther or a little shorter to have a staggered look. Weave as high as you want to for the first part. When you're beginning your second color, start on the opposite side where your warp threads are bare. I chose to push mine up so it was easier to see in the video. This may help you as well. This time when you're sliding your needle through, you will go through the loop of that first row. So my needle is going through the green. I'm pulling all the way to the end. Then on the return trip, complete the pattern. So I'm going underneath, but follow what your pattern is, either under or over. You'll still pull. Remember, don't crank on it, not too tight. And they will join or interlock in the middle. Don't forget to squish it down. And then continue weaving all the way across until you reach that first color. Go through the loop, pull all the way to the end, and you will continue this until you have gone through the loops of each one of those rows. 